have you heard this phrase ek chup so suk have you ever been in a situation where you said something and you instantly regretted it had you not said a word had you just kept quiet that scenario can be explained as biting your tongue okay not literally you don't have to literally bite your tongue to stop yourself from talking okay but biting your tongue is something like there's a strong urge you want to express your angry you want to say something you want to get back at somebody but you refrain from doing that and that is called biting your tongue this is a very effective communication skill if you know when to talk and if you know when not to talk communication skills is not just about the words that you use but it is also about when to talk and when not to talk and let your silence do the talking so that brings me to my next idea and that is why you should bite your tongue and you should get better at doing this it's because it helps you prevent escalation of disagreements me shouting at you you getting back at me i getting back at you and everybody everything just gets so ugly and i mean the entire atmosphere is so negative when we are fighting what we are doing is we are very short sighted we forget the good times we forget the good things the better things and we are only looking for flaws in each other at such a moment i say ek chup so suk i heard it some place is not my own but yes i heard it from nina gupta <laughs> getting on to point number 2 it prevents regrets it prevents grudges you're going to regret you said that but when you say something somebody else is going to hold that as a grudge against you anger only hurts the angry unless you pick something up and <laughs> throw it in their face which you're not going to do right so anger will your anger will only hurt you what is the point there's no point point number 3 by biting your tongue what you would be doing is that you would be helping improve your communication skills because when you are in a fight you're mostly reacting you're not responding to ideas you're like tu aisa nahi tu aisa nahi tu unhone ye kiya tune wo kiya so you like that you know but there's no real exchange of ideas happening so rather than indulging into something so petty something so disrespectful why not bite your tongue don't say a word <laughs> another way this habit could help you is improve your emotional intelligence help you develop sincerity and discipline discipline as in you know people um there's this certain aura in people who take care of such things who are like no theek hai i'm not going to make an issue out of every little thing all right i'm just going to let this pass so there are people whom you recognize for doing something like this you can already think of a name ha huh, this person is very mature you that's what you say right ha huh, she is very mature she doesn't fight over petty things or she'll be able to handle everything properly what is handling everything properly handling everything properly is your effective way of communicating in a situation and that can only happen when you do not say a few things that <laughs> that may come out of your heart you want to but you don't let's talk about the last point on the list this self control that you practice it helps you develop better relationships it overall fosters a very positive environment around you imagine a scenario where every fight is you with somebody it could be any xyz but you are a common factor you don't want to be in that scenario right now how do we do that so there are certain techniques that you could use one very popular one is counting till 10 deep breathing and count till 10 one two okay very angry furious just do this exercise short exercise another thing if you really understand is the importance of a pause if you are in a heated conversation or in a conversation which is not headed in the right direction and could actually turn into a heated argument if you take a pause imagine how much of negativity will actually be cut right there in that moment too much will be stopped from happening you must practice empathy what is empathy putting yourself in other person's shoes why are they saying what they are saying understanding their perspective empathy is a natural human emotion that comes to all of us we just have to like bring it to the surface more often another technique could be i know this is very difficult i don't know how you'll <laughs> manage to do this but a sincere apology i've tried this and uh, it works it works like wonders 
just say a sorry there is some scenario such scenario in your life in the past maybe where you feel okay i wish i had said sorry sometimes my husband and i we have arguments we have some things that we do not agree on with each other and sometimes it does get a little a little too much sometimes he says a sorry sometimes i say a sorry i just feel so much better after saying a sorry it just gets so easy so easy because you know um you are so suddenly reminded that you love this person because when you're fighting you i don't think you are really in love at that moment so either you can love or you can fight i don't know i may be wrong here but i think uh, that's how it works it doesn't work as a multitasking thing it does not work the two things do not work together so just a sorry can actually bring back that reminder it's like a reminder that you love this person it's okay let it go and one last thing on the list and something that you can remind yourself about is that by actively listening okay listening to somebody you can constructively design your responses now there has to be one thing that has to be understood here and that is that there may be potential downsides to this theory that if you never express yourself you're always biting your tongue never expressing what you truly want to say you may feel that your emotions are being suppressed some suppressed anger developing inside your heart which is not good for you right but you need to understand that there has to be a balance not always should you keep shut sometimes you need to take a stand but there has to be a balance so that was it in the video today let me know in the comments this one incident that you can recall where you should have just kept quiet and not said a word but you spoke anyway and you spoiled things for everybody okay then bye